Good evening all and welcome back to the Ben Walker channel, coming to you live from the first class lounge at Paddington Station. Now you may notice that I'm not talking, this is because there are loads of people in here who've paid an awful lot more than me and I don't want to be a prat and disturb them. So why am I here? Well, while I wait for my special guest to arrive, how about you take a look at this preview and find out. And that, ladies and gents, is why you should travel on British Railways. I'm about to miss our train. I'll be honest, this is really surreal. <laughs> the bird's just cramped. Old bin with a strong hint of banana. That's the best thing I've ever done. Another episode of Branch Lines. Oh, I wasn't expecting that this morning. Have you Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the once least used station in the UK. Oh. And yeah, thank you for watching. Go and give us another wave. Okay. You rejoin us heading over to Platform 2, where, if you hadn't guessed already, the Night Riviera sleeper was waiting for us to take us down to Cornwall. I will be accompanied on this adventure by my granddad. The Great Western Railway operated service runs Monday to Friday and on a Sunday, departing Paddington at 23.45 and heading for Penzance. It took us a while, but we eventually found our door and climbed aboard, where we were confronted by a slight obstacle, that being the narrowness of the corridors. That theme was continued in the rooms. <laughs> it's quite a squeeze, isn't it? <laughs> Grandad then spent a silly amount of time trying to open the curtain while I took a look around the room. Good evening. Uh, we're in our sort of bunk for the night, if you like. I hope you can hear me well enough. I might have to come a bit closer to the camera. I don't want to be too loud because there's like some tourists on here who've been on flights all day and have wanted to go straight to sleep. Um, it's quite small. I, I have probably put some footage already in the in the vlog of how small this is. Um, that's sort of my feet, and yeah, I, I, I am sort of the width of this carriage. I think Grandad's going to be down there. Um, under there, believe it or not, is a sink, and uh, we've got a window as well, which I might keep open for a little while. Um, but yeah been interesting so far. Um, I will take you for an explore shortly and I will hopefully be able to talk a little bit more but I don't want to be, I don't want to disturb too many people, do you know what I mean? So uh, you might get a lot of voiceover in this video, I do apologise. I am very, very excited. After getting settled, I made my way back down the narrow corridors in search of the buffet car where I was hoping to source a drink and a quick snack. I eventually found it and made myself comfortable. I'm sitting down in literally this rather glamorous uh, bar area where I'm about to have some chocolate and some biscuits, which are going to be bought out to me. But, um, but yeah, oh, this is such fun. This is such fun. The complimentary hot chocolate and biscuits arrived, and I must admit, it was pretty banging. I then tried the sofa I'd seen as I walked in, which turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. Still, it was decent enough to sit and enjoy the atmosphere on the train. Now, if you're like me, and you watch a lot of Callum's Corner, you'll know exactly what I'm going to do next, but I do a toilet review on the train, which he's done in Thailand and India and stuff. Um, it's very spacious, let me turn you around. As you can see, there was even enough room to get changed if I wanted to, rather than do it in the cramped bedrooms. The only issue I did have were these taps. I do not like motion sensor soap and water taps. They never run for long enough. I was, however, pleased to see that the dryer ran with pressure and heat. On the way back to the room, I had a cheeky look at some of the single bunks, which were exactly the same, only with the top folded. If you're wondering what Paddington station's like at this time of night, the uh, lovely lights in the background. It's all very quiet here now. This is really surreal. I'm actually lying in the bed, hanging about. I've got a double bed at home. 
and I, like whenever I get warm in the night, my pillow gets warm, I like to roll to the cold side. If I roll here, I'm going to fall and hit my head on the sink and wake up my granddad. <laughs> oh man. I think this might drive me like more mental than the hovercraft did. But it's going to be great for, I'm going to be so groggy in the morning when we get to St. Earth, goodness me. Oh man. I just found a smaller toilet where I'm going to try and do my teeth. Got a new, new toothbrush, special occasion and all that. Got a bottle of water. I don't like the way, the way trust sterilisation has taken place. So I'm going to rinse with that. Sensitive toothpaste because my teeth are playing up. But there we go. We're leaving soon. It's about it's about twenty uh, three forty one at the moment. That's going to get moved, I didn't even think of that. Oh well. Done. Hot chocolate and biscuits consumed and teeth brushed, it was time to retire to bed for the evening, in time to watch us pull out of Paddington on time. There we go, we are off and underway. Um, I'm probably gonna try and sleep now for as much as I can. It's quite nice boarding early, so I was able to go and enjoy a nice hot drink in the uh, in the bar area. But um, I'm very, very tired, so I'm probably just gonna try and knock out for as much as I can and just enjoy the slow humming and the swaying of the drain. Oh, we are already turning. I can feel my head pushing against the, the bedboard. This is, this is crazy. Grandad, how are you doing? Oh, good, thank you. Good, good, good. Yeah, so we're just going to try and get some sleep. And we will see you bright and early in the morning and we'll let you know how our night was. Or if anything happens, then I'll... Uh, then I'll fill you guys in. But, um, yeah, good night. I was first awoken an hour later at Reading. Given our long pause here, I did begin to worry that we may have broken down. However, due to the activity outside, I eventually realised that the engine at the rear was just being detached, and very soon we were on our way once again. I next awoke at Exeter, where we seemed to stop for ages. I really struggled to get back to sleep after this. I finally started to wake up properly at the beautiful scenery of Bodmin Parkway. Well, I say wake up. I was still half asleep until we were leaving Lost Withiel, at which point the hostess knocked on our door to wake us up with breakfast. I'd pre-ordered an apple juice the night before along with a sausage bap. The juice was very nice and refreshing, and the bap was alright too. The sausages were a little chewy, and if I'm honest, I'm definitely more of a bacon guy in the morning, but at least it was hot. Morning. Uh, woke up a couple of times during the night. Only a few times. Like, sort of, um, I think I woke up once when Grandad went to use a bathroom at like 2. And then I woke up again at like at Exeter, about half past 4. Um, it wasn't too bad, and then they sort of woke us up about quarter two, ready to get us off, so um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Oh, let me show you what breakfast came in. Let me turn you around. That's the little tray it came on, it was delivered to us, so I'm going to make use of the tea and biscuits in a minute as well. I had my sausage bat, but that was very nice. The view out the window over Cornwall this morning. It's beautiful. When I first woke up, we were at Bodmin. We had the forest on the one side. It was lovely. It's time to go and make use of the facilities again now, though. And maybe, maybe get a coffee as well. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. One thing about coming to the bar from in my socks is that I'm not only trusting in my own ability to aim, but I'm trusting in everyone else's. 
Well, uh, we're all packed and ready to get off now. It's um, it's been a bit chaotic. Um, it's, uh, it's still quite cramped, but um, but yeah, we've managed it. We've managed it, and uh, we've we've been bought breakfast, and I've had a nice cup of tea, and uh, ready to get out in the fresh air now. It is looking like a lovely morning. Um, how did you sleep, Grandad? Yeah, not too bad at all. Yeah. We've got a couple of stations left till St Earth, and then we'll be heading up towards St Ives for the morning. Um, obviously, I'll be bringing you a a couple of branch lines from Cornwall. Um, so I might actually, I might actually wrap this this vlog up here. Um, we'll get a closing shot of the doors slamming on uh, on these sort of fantastic old carriages, and as the train pulls away, you'll get the end credits if you like. But um, yeah, no. Uh, if if you've got made it this far, please hit like, press subscribe, um, drop a comment if this is something you'd like to experience. It is it is very good fun. Um, probably needs about another two nights worth of sleep to recover <laughs> but um, no it's definitely an experience worth doing so uh, yeah really hope you've enjoyed and from where are we from almost Camborne from Camborne thank you very much do take care bye 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 come on give us another wave okay.